Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install Cisco ASTM in Linux Ubuntu PC. This is the topology I am going to use for today's lab. To install ASTM in our Linux or Ubuntu PC, we should have Java runtime environment in our Linux PC. To download and install Java to our Linux PC, I will connect our Linux PC directly to internet. So I will remove this connection here. I'll bring our Linux PC here and connect to internet directly so that we will get good speed. I'll start our Linux PC. I'll open the Linux console now. Now I will log into our Ubuntu PC. Now we have logged into our Ubuntu PC. I'll open the terminal. Now I will check the connectivity to internet. We can see our IP address here. It dynamically received from our ISP router. Here we can see under ENS3 adapter, it received IP address. 170, 192.160.1.1.170. Now we will check the connectivity to internet. I'll ping to google.com. Yeah, it is having the connectivity, it is pinging. I'll quit this. Now I'll open the web browser. I'll search for Download Java. Java for Linux. I'll click the first link. I'll scroll down. Here we can see various links to download. From this, we have to select the Linux 64. We have to select the 64 bit. The 64 bit will work on the Ubuntu 22.04 version. So I will select Linux 64 bit. It started downloading. Downloading is completed. I will go back to terminal. I will go to the downloads directory. I will use ls command. Here we can see our we have already downloaded the this Java runtime environment application. Um, what we have to do next? We have to create one parent directory called Java. In the home directory itself, we are creating the Java folder. I'll do ls here in the home directory. You can check our newly created Java directory. Now we are going to extract the downloaded JRE files to the newly created Java directory. We have already downloaded in the downloads directory. So from the downloads directory, we are moving and extracting this file into Java folder. So we have to use this command to extract the JRE files. We are, we are going to use the tar command, tar xvf. In the download directory, this JRE file, and we are going to move into we are going to move this file into the Java directory we have created in the home directory. Click enter. Now it is extracting. Now the Java files are extracted into the Java directory. 
So I'll go to the Java directory now. We can check now. I'll use the ls command. Here we can see the file is extracted into our Java directory. To launch or run ASDM, we need Java Web Start application. The Java Web Start application is inside this JRE folder. We can check that now. I'll go into that JRE folder. Inside we have bin directory. Inside this bin directory, I'll do ls. We can see here we are having that Java Web Start. Java Web Start application is inside. Now within the terminal, we have to run the Java Web Start application and point it to the management URL of our Cisco ASA. Now I am going to remove this Ubuntu PC from direct internet connection and I will directly connect it to the switch and the switch will connect it to the Cisco ASA. So I'll use sudo. I'm shutting down this PC now, removing this connection and connecting it back to the switch. And now I will turn on all the three devices, Linux PC and switch and ASA firewall. I'll start all nodes. Now all the three devices are started. To run the ASTM in Linux PC, we need to know the IP address of our ASA firewall. And we need to do some certain configurations in ASA firewall. Now I will open the ASA firewall console. I have done all the, conf all the necessary configurations. If you want to know how to do these configurations, you can see my previous video, how to install ASDM in Windows PC. I'll give the link in the description. Here you can see in the CLI terminal, I have configured the interface G00. This interface G00 IP address I have already configured and default security level and I have named the interface as inside. Also, we have to give user, we have to configure username and password to log into the ASDM. Configure username and password to access or log into our ASDM. And we have to enable HTTP services. To access ASA firewall using ASDM, we need to enable HTTP services I have configured these configurations. Now, once again, I'll open the Linux PC console. As we have removed this Linux PC directly from the internet, now it will not receive DHCP IP address from internet. So we have to configure the IP address manually. So I'll open the Linux console. I'll open the terminal now. We can check the IP address under the ENS3 network adapter. We can see no IP address is configured under this. So we have to configure it manually. So I'll go to the settings on the top, top right corner, click on the power button, click on settings. By default, it selected the network settings. So on the right side, select the wired one, turn it on. Click on the settings. Click IPv4 and change the IPv4 method from DHCP into manual, select manual. Now we have to type your IP address here. I'll give 192, 1.25.
subnet mask 255 255 255.0 and gateway i'll give the ip address of our ac firewall 192.168.1.10 and click apply i'll close this now once again we will check the ip address whether it is configured correct now we can check under ens3 we have IP address 192.168.1.25. Now we will check the connectivity from our Linux PC to ASA firewall. I'll ping to ASA firewall IP address 192.168.1.10. It is pinging successfully. As a final step to launch this ASDM, we need to run this java web start application within this terminal so to do that we have to copy and paste this command i have copy and pasted this command i'll give this command in the description now i'll explain this command here we can see in the home directory we have java folder we have created the java folder in that we have extracted this jre application and inside the jre application we have one bin bin folder inside the bin folder java w java web start application is located so we have run this application from there and we as i told we have to point it to the asa ip address asa management url so we have to use the HTTPS, not HTTP, HTTPS. And this is my ASC IP address. You have to use your ASC IP address. And this is my ASC IP address. And admin public asdm.jnlp. Now I will click enter now. Now it launches the Java application. And it is giving the security warning do you want to continue this connection to the website is untrusted because it is ASA is using the self-signed certificate so but the lab purpose we can continue i'll give continue now once again it is asking do you want to run this application application name is asdm application cisco systems and location HTTPS 192.168.1.10. Now select this checkbox. I accept the risk and want to run this application and click on run now. Now we can see Cisco ASTM launcher. It launched the ASTM. And also one more thing I will show you to you. Here we can see it created the desktop application for ASTM. Here we have to give our username. My username is admin. That I have created here. You can see in the left side of the ASA terminal. And password. I use the default password Cisco here. I'll I'll click on this checkbox here to remember this username and password and click OK now. Now it is getting updated software from ASA. It will take some time. Finally, the ASTM is launched successfully. Here we can see the notification here. This license state, it is unlicensed, but it is okay for our lab environment. Click OK. This is the dashboard of Cisco ASTM. Under this home tab, you can see the device information interface status and VPN summary failover status like that. And we have other tabs also like configuration on the top you can see configuration, monitoring and save other details. Under the configuration tab you can see it is further divided into five sections. One is device setup, firewall, 
remote access VPN, site-to-site -site VPN, and device management. In the first section is device setup. Uh, in that, you can see startup visa. We can click on the launch startup visa. When you launch startup visa, this window will open. Here, you can do all the necessary configurations. In my previous video, how to install ASTM in ASTM for Windows. In that video, I have explained how to do these configurations. If you want to know how to do this, you can refer that video. I'll give the link in the description. Here, you can do all the necessary configurations. I'll close this ASTM now. Click yes. Next thing, if you want to launch ASDM, you can launch it directly from the desktop app. But before launching that, you have to copy this shortcut and right click and paste it on the desktop again. This one you can delete. Now I will right click on this shortcut. And here you have to click on allow launching. When you click on allow launching, this icon will be changed into the clear ASTM. This you can differentiate and identify from here. You can double click here. It will launch it from here. Finally, we have one more easiest way to launch this ASTM from the terminal. I'll open the terminal now. Earlier, we have used this big command to launch ASTM. Instead of typing this big command, we can stay, save this. We can store this uh, command as a function inside the .bashrc file. So I already saved this command as a function in the text editor. I will copy it from here. Now from the terminal using nano editor, I will open the .bashrc file using sudo. I will scroll down to the bottom. Here I will paste the function. This is the function I have pasted here. The function name ASDM inside the curly bracket. I write the command. The first half is the file path, whatever we have used earlier. The same file path. And the second half is the management URL of ASA. Earlier we have used the IP address of the ASA. Now I have changed into dollar one that is representing the variable using this variable i will call out the ip address of asa now i will save this file using control o click enter and i will exit using control x now i can call out the function from the terminal the function name is asdm i'll type the function name asdm and the variable IP address 192.168.1.10. I click enter. We're showing command not found. I have to close this terminal. I have to relaunch the terminal again. KSTM 192.168.1.10. Now it opened the function as usual. It is verifying the application. This is how we have to install ASTM inside any Linux or Ubuntu PC. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.